Welcome back. We're going to take a look at 10 free fab assets. There are some rules here. So firstly, these are all free and they're all from fab. Secondly, they are all released within the past two months. So two, two months time scale. And thirdly, none of these assets are my own, but I will leave a link to my fab store in the description below. All of these assets are available there and they're all free. So that's the self promo bit out of the way. Let me know which asset you like below and which one is your favorite. I'll leave a link to them all in the description in chronological order. And I hope that you have a great day and enjoy your weekend. Thank you very much. The first asset we're going to look at is this stylized post-process FX pack asset. This is seven stylized post-process volumes. It was released on August the 3rd and it is on a CCO license, so you can do whatever you want with it. This YouTube link is how they sell the materials and it is super simple to use. So if I start our game here, you can see I've got this cartoon set up here. Now I can press one and it changes to heat distortion. So super simple to use. And we can take a look at all of them in the map. So we've seen the cartoon one is distortion. VHS hallucination and wavy water and then heat wave and raindrops. Raindrops is really nice. I like raindrops. I like raindrops and cartoon probably the best personally, but let me know which one you like. That's it. Number two is the procedural heartbeat. Don't be put off by the AI thumbnail. That's a little disappointing, not going to lie, but this is a meta sound that changes beats per minute. We start a game and then I press two. You can start hearing that heartbeat. I have it set up so that on three, it changes to faster and then flip flops back. So this was so easy to set up, but it's so nice to use. We spawn it on two, so you can just spawn that at begin play, promote that to a variable and on debug key three, I set the float parameter called pulse and it selects to 100 and 220. So you can just, un you can just like slow that down, have it on a timeline, lurk between the two. It, it sounds so good. The next eight assets are all utility plugins. So we'll start with the Ferryfy plugin. This is a utility plugin that is just a bunch of code to make your life easier. Different sorts of like functions that you can just use to do stuff quickly. So the next asset I wanted to show off was this plant system uh, it released yesterday. I'm still going to talk about it, but I actually can't get it to do the business that I need it to do. Um, it loads, it works all fine. Apart from when you click on something, it doesn't grow anything. So redeem it, but hopefully they fix it. It's got all the code there. I can't fix the code myself because it's written in C++. So if you have some C++ knowledge, then perhaps this one is an easy fix for you. Then we've got mass particle. Now I've not touched any of the mass AI stuff. This one released yesterday, August 8th. It's cool. Like it looks awesome. I tried to give it a go. My result was something to be desired. So I can get a few spawn in, but I've not been able to get them spawn in, uh, sort of further on. I think this one caps at like a hundred. You can see that I've got a hundred all spawn in one place, which is pretty fun. But if I simulate it, it seems to not do the jobby and becomes this distorted mess. So I think this one's more for advanced people than myself. And I hope this is of use to you to know about. It seems like a really cool asset. And once it's working, I'm sure it'd be absolutely fantastic. Then we have base interactor, which is an interaction plugin system that's highly removed and has documentation and tutorial. This one we did manage to get working. It's pretty cool. It's not anything revolutionary in the world, but it's still pretty cool. Here we can see we got the BP interactable template. There does seem to be a bit of a delay in some of this where it's like turning off and unhooking the widget, etc. So it's not perfect. It's also written in C++, so I can't really change much or figure out what's going on there personally but it's one to be aware of if it's abstracted and like a better running scenario than the 
blueprint version is worth looking into. On that note, there is an honorable mention of this interface enum based interaction system, which also released yesterday, but the download on this seems to be broken. This is another interaction system, but it feels like it's a bit more um, open. So hopefully this one gets fixed so people can use this. Then we've got my personal favorite on this list. This is the ghost replay system. I think this is absolutely awesome and it's so easy to use as well. The documentation is all I followed to get this set up. So I'll show you how this is working. We press Q on here to start recording our character. And then I'm going to press P to stop and C to spawn the blood. Here's my blood. And I can press E to show then the blood as it comes out. So here's our blood spatters that we've used. Here's a few of my different types here. You, know, you just imagine me dying over here or over there and where we start recording and sort of the different use cases for this. I think this is really easy, really simple and honestly pretty awesome. Just so you can see the blueprint set up on this. As I say, I've got a cue to start the recording from this bloodstain system. We stop it on the P, spawn it on the C, and when we interact, this is our little interaction system, we interact with the bloodstain. You should change this to whatever interaction system you're using though. But this is super simple. Just start recording when you spawn, stop when you die, and spawn it when you die as well. So super simple, three or four nodes set up is great. So then we've got audio tracing, which is an audio ray tracing system. I don't know enough about audio to be able to give a proper look at this, but it seems really quite awesome. No, there's no sample project available on this. So you just have to try this one yourself um, or this one. After audio tracing is the other one that I'm excited about. I'm excited about a couple of these ones. Skeleton slice, slice skeletal mesh. This one seems cool. You get to slice a skeletal mess procedurally. So rather than spawning static meshes, it splits into two skeletal messes. So we like this one a lot. So this one is super easy to set up. We press the E and then we slice the mesh. You have to do some jiggery pokery with the skeleton because it uses a sliceable skeletal mesh. But this is the result. And then he just flies off. Now I've obviously got this cartoon shader on here and you can do whatever you want with this, but like that is, that is cool, man. And you can add different uh, caps onto the end of the slice to get you set up properly and stuff. But yeah, super easy, super cool asset to use. Should check that one out. The next asset is another one that I am super interested in, the smart flying navigation asset. This one is enable smart flying stuff. Like it looks absolutely awesome take a look at that one quickly so how to get this to work is we look at the octree voxel volume here and then we open the tuner and we make sure that we bake it and then when we play for all of these making custom splines or following the splines to our enemy here which is awesome which is cool. Just flying AI in general is like, really tough to do. So having something that will run it for us, man, that's awesome. And then finally, this maze, you can see that they're going to the middle. They're just following this path. And there's all sorts of options in here to have a play with like the tuner options, the number of work threads. So whether it's using agent avoidance, so they're avoiding each other uh, and all sorts. So this one is well worth checking out and having a look at. And then finally, we've got the one click level generator. Again, this is a project made by Crafting Jungle or the past six have. It uses PCG, procedural world generation. And if we take a look into our project, so all we do is go to window and then at the bottom OCG window, create the level generator 
set the map that we want. We can generate the maps with a preview to modify the height dome and we can generate or generate with a random seed as well and I'll import it. I'm not overly familiar with PCG. So this is so handles it all for me, I presume, which is good. And then it created this stylized world for me off the bat, all PCG generated. And once we add some clouds and everything, then we can right click and play from here. And our cartoon shader is applied as well. Now we have our PCG world all generated. So if you made it to the end, thank you very much. And thanks for watching. That's it for this 10 free fab assets. Let me know below which one was your favorite. And big thank you to our paid member, Dev Danny Diggs. Thank you very much for all the support. And we'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys.